Hello, my babies. How's everyone doing today? Well, I guess I'm doing all right, honey. I was out here trying to clean this art shed just a little bit. And, baby, I got caught in a thunderstorm. I don't know if y'all hear it, but it's pouring rain. But thank God my leak's fixed. I did fix it. Yay! But anyway, I want to do a review. Les Resin has sent me some products, and I want to do a review on it. One of them we're going to do today. So if that sounds interesting to you, then uh, stay tuned because the video is coming up. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't um, joined my membership, come on over there with us, babies. We have lots of fun. We talk about everything over there. We do. We have fun. But anyway, let's get to the video. Alright, darlings, let's go. Let's go at it. Now, then, I'm going to be using my Less Resin Epoxy Resin Mixer. This thing is amazing. I have an affiliate link for all these products I'm going to show you. Okay? Alright, first thing. Now, this is what we're going to be doing today. Is this. Look at this, guys. We're going to be doing it today. Look at it. It is a snail. You can use it for a flower pot or you can use it for a pen holder. Put your pans in. Is that not the cutest doggone thing you ever did see in your life? Oh my God, I'm excited. I'm excited to do it. I got it today. Ain't it cute? So we're going to be doing that. I'm going to put it back in the box so nothing to get on it. And then they sent me the UV resin light because... Mine has just been acting a fool. It, I guess it's got a little short. I've had it forever. But let me show y'all this here. And it gives you the instructions on how to use it. Okay? You get a long cord. Yay! Thank you, less resin. Thank you, baby. And here is the UV light. Is that not the cutest stuff on thing? And then you got 60 seconds and 120 seconds. And then it's got the little legs. Look at that. 18 light bulbs and then there's your charger hole okay i thought that was just cute i was happy to get that oh thank goodness but i was really happy when i seen it had a long cord i was really excited about that because you know some of them that you get babies you can't you have to get an extension cord and then you still have to put it up here on your table for the doggone plug to reach ain't that the truth all right, then they sent me these. Look at here. These are crystal molds. Look at that. You got this one. Is that not the cutest doggone thing? I love it. I love it. And then look at this one. Oh, oh, look at that one. Oh, my God, that's pretty. That is so doggone pretty. So we're going to be coming up with something with these. I'm not sure yet. My brain ain't gonna wrap around it, though. I wanted. I thought about making one of these and putting it inside my um uh, snail, a little snail container. I love containers. I do. I love them. Okay. So they sent me that, honey. I'm gonna say less resin is a blessing to me. They are. Then I got silicone rubber. Thank goodness, because I only had a little bit left in my bottles over there i didn't have much left at all and this is non-toxic no odor bubble free easy mixing versatile use make molds out of it you see and it comes in these little bottles and let's see how much you get you get 10.23 ounces in each bottle i'm sure and then you mix it together and make your mold all right so Less resin sent me that. Okay, I'm running out of table. Then they sent me silicone putty. One to one by weight is how you do the putty. Now then, you have a blue and a white. And you mix it, I guess, until you don't see any more blue. But I'm not for sure now. Because I've never used it. And you use it to make a mold. If you've got something you want to make a mold out of, like a pendant or 
I guess anything you want to make a mold out of. Baby doll, there you go. One to one by weight. Okay? Silicone putty. Look at that. Now then, they sent me some resin casting powder. Odorless, self-level, degas, easy to mix, fast curing, and easy to demold. Look here. Here's the directions. Okay? And here's the powder. And they also sent you a little measuring cup. Shut your mouth. And there it is. Look at that. Honey baby. Mm-hmm. It's a heavy bag. So, I got that. Now then, let me tell you what, they, what else they sent here. Oh, i can put this back in there. Because I'm sure I'm going to need it. But sometimes I just don't read directions. And then, just mess up everything. Because I don't want to read them. Ain't that pitiful? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, now then. They also sent me some of this. Now this is that 10 minute. It turns white. 10 minute resin. Polyurethane resin. Now, I had some. They had sent me some before. And I had some and Crazy Me took it out of its original container and poured it in my honey jars. My squirt honey jars. One of them exploded. Leave it in the container. Keep it in a cool, dark place. Okay? I, you get gloves. I have mine under my table. Because I don't want it swelling and, and none of that. So, anyway, it only takes 10 minutes for this. I know y'all have seen it. And then you got directions. Okay? Yes, honey. Woo! That scared the hooky hooky out of me. But anyway, I got some more. And we're going to be using it, too. I'm going to use it. I'm using the dude out of it. But it's staying in this box, and it's staying in this container. It's on a container this time. I'm going to put it way back over here in that dark spot. Now, then, let's get to the star of the show. And that's going to be this adorable snail jar or flower pot. Okay? Now, let me show you what I think I'm going to use. I got a few things over here. Now, I want to use some Sparkle Plenty by Mad Micah. Now, I do have an affiliate link for this too. Okay, just to give it a little sparkle. Then, now these, you get them at the Dollar Tree. Okay, now what I did, this was those um, glass gems. You know, they come whole, like a round glass gem. I put them in a boiler of water, let them get real hot, boiled them till they was hot, hot. And there's blue and clear and green in there. Then I hit them with cold, ice, ice cold water, and it cracked them. So then I took them and put them inside a blue jean leg and took a hammer and cracked them up. Look at that. Now I thought about putting these beautiful things in here. And I just might throw me some off up in there. And then I remembered I had these shavings from resin. This is leftover, peeled off of cups, table, mats, honey, anything. It's some pretty colors in there. So I thought about using that. And I may use some of this and some of the glass. So there we go. That now here. Now, I'm a, I, want, I started to use pearls. I was just going to fill it up with pearls. But I did not have, and you can see through this mold. Look at it. So, if there's any bubbles in here, you can see them. Give them a little squish around. And you can see the bubbles. Ain't that great? Mm-hmm. Now then, you could do the head and the neck different. Then the body, you could take a paint pen or a mica powder and go in here and do the shell, if you wanted to, a different whatever you wanted to do. Lay it on its side like this and put you something different in there and cure it. Huh? You could do that. I mean, there's you could just do anything you want to. But today, I'm going to be using this glass and I'm going to be using some of those resin shavings 
and some of this sparkler plenty by Mad Michael. So I'm gonna get my resin mixed up and I'll be right back. Okay. I've decided to use my glass what I'm scared about is that I don't have enough I know I have some more somewhere some somewhere that is whole it's whole glass I'll be right back oh my goodness look what I found in my pebble drawer <laughs> and I think it's enough I think it's enough so, my baby, I'm just going to pour these in here and give it a shake around. And whatever we come out with, that's what we're going to get, even the dust. I'm using less resin one-to-one. -one. I did mix it up with my epoxy resin mixer. That'll be in my description if I can get it in there. There you go. I love it. I love it. Now, let me get me a stick. Because I'm going to have a stick to be moving these glass around. Now, what I did for these antennas or tentacles, whatever they're called, I put two pearls. I did get my pearls in there. I put it right down in there. Okay? So, I'm going to get this. Give it a, another little scrapey and make sure I don't see. I do it every time and I never see anything, but I'm paranoid, guys. I'm scared it's not mixed up. You know, <laughs> I just like to make doggone sure. I do have my extractor fan on. I have my um, air purifier on. So all that's good. All that's on. All right, darlings. I sprayed my mold with this amazing Appel mold release that one of my sweet babies sent me. It's amazing. I love it. And a little bit goes a long way. It's a big can. It's 14.4 um, ounces. It's a big can. Okay, now then, I'm going to put me some Sparkle of Plenty in here and give that a stir around. Look how pretty that is. Now, I don't want much. Just a little. Just a little hint. That's probably enough. Because I just want it to barely sparkle barely have a little sparkle in it and y'all i got so many ideas with this mold i hope y'all don't get tired of seeing it <laughs> because i want them to just keep making them i do i think it's the cutest i'll go mold ever now i'm gonna put my glass in this resin okay or i may not you know what? I think I'm going to pour it just a little bit in this head. In the head part. That way I can give it a squish around. If I can get it in there. Let's see. Here we go. I'm going to put just a little hair. And then I'm going to add me some glass in there. I just want to get it down in here. Where I'm going to know that. Look at the bubbles coming up. Y'all see it? See, you can see through this doggone thing. Look, there's a bubble. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yes. I love this mold already. You can see slap through it. And see if there's any bubbles. Mm-hmm. Oh, shoot, yeah, honey. Any trap bubbles. And it was. It was. There goes two more sinking to the top. Or floating to the top, should I say. There goes some more. Alright. I think that's going to be it. I hope. We'll give it a bang. Okay. Now then, I'm going to add my glass. 
All right, found me a spoon, and I don't think it's big enough. Lord of mercy. I'm ready, ain't I? <laughs> I am prepared, baby dolls. Am I not? I guess I'm going to have to use it. Oh, here we go. 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 All right, I'm going to go off up in here and just get me some. And I'm going to turn this around. And I'm going to put it right off in there. And that glass is going to sink. See? It's sinking, baby. It's sinking. And I'm just going to fill it up with this pretty, gorgeous glass. That, oh, it's so pretty. Now I see some foreign objects, so I'm going to have to go slow and pick them out. Oh, my God. Oh, Lordy. This is going to be so freaking cute. I already know. Now, I did wash this glass. I washed it. Okay, let's see what we got. I want to get some down in the antenna if I can. But if I can't, that's, that's all right. But I try to push just a piece or two down in there. Very carefully because it is glass. There it went. There it went. So I'm going to get a little piece there. Okay. And I'm going to finish filling this head with this glass. I'm going off in there deep. Okay. Y'all see that? I can't turn it too much sideways. <laughs> It'll spill out. I'm still trying to get another little piece of glass in this in, in the antenna here. Or tentacle or what, whatever it is. Alright. There we go. There we go now. I'm going to take something poked down in there in a minute. And get one in that antenna. All right, so we done got resin overflowed there, so I'm going to continue and pour. Now, I know I mixed up way too much resin. I mixed up two cups, and the reason I did that is because I wanted to do my crystals, my crystal molds. So, we're going to be doing the crystal molds too, babies. I can't stand it. They're so doggone cute. Oh, there's something. Okay. Oh, yeah. Get in there. Oh, this glass is pretty. I'm hoping y'all can see it. There's little beady shatters. Little, little shattery pieces. Big fat pieces. All kind of pieces. Now, let me give this a little bounce bounce. A little slap around. Okay. Now I'm going to take this here. And I'm going to try to get a piece of that glass in this antenna. There it goes. Just what I needed. There. There. Honey, it just don't want to do. It don't want to work right. Be really careful with glass. You don't want to cut your mold up. And y'all know me. I'm heavy-handed as I come. Alright, there we go. Get this off. Okay. And the bubbles are coming up. Give it a little squishy. Squishy. But if it has bubbles, I don't care. I don't care because it's a snail. It's a snail. It's going to be pretty. It's going to be pretty. Alright, let's continue. Getting it in.
I was going to do my clock mold next, but when this came in, I was like, oh my God, oh Lord, I got to do this snail. It is too freaking adorable. I know y'all's mind changes too, don't it, babies? I know it does. I know mine does, quick. So I'm just going to keep feeling. Until I got it full. And then when I take it out, I can, um, this is a pretty big mold, babies. I can, uh, paint it, paint the shell if I want, whatever I want to do. Here we go. I'm not going all the way to the top yet, because I'm going to let those bubbles uh, do whatever they're going to be doing. This is a fatty, little fat snail. I love it. I love it. I kind of want it to have a shiny bottom. Yeah, I'm always changing my mind about something. Now this right here should fill it on up. You see, when you use fillers, you don't need that much resin. I don't know what I was thinking about. I wasn't thinking. Sink. Sink, baby. Oops, some over there. Okay, I think I got it full. I believe I do. Might be a little something something at the bottom that don't have glass. But I think it's pretty much full. I'm just going to wiggle it around. Just to get my bubbles to moving. Coming up. Okay. Go. Now then, I'm going to let that pop just a little bit and I'll be right back. All right, loves. Now, for these, this is a mixture that I mixed up a long time ago. And it's got, it's got pink in it and it's got gold in it and it's got stars in it. And I'm talking about it's just got a little bit of everything in it. And it's got green. I see a little green in there. It's just gorgeous. I know y'all probably can't see it. But I want to sprinkle some in this big one. Okay? Just a little. Just going to dust it. And then I'm just going to pour my... And if it don't get in there, it just don't. Because you know we got that sparkle of plenty. Alright. There we go. That's enough. And here we go. Now I'm going to go slow because I don't want trap bubbles. So I'm going to put a little bit in each. Little hole. And then I'm going to give it a bam. A little bam around. Okay, couple more. I'm gonna let that sit there for just a minute. Oh, I missed one. There we go. Now let's get this one. Now this little crystal mold looks little, but it's got tall crystals on it. I'm going to be making all my grandbabies a jewelry box for Christmas. And uh, these crystals came just in time. Thank you, Les Resin. Thank you so much. Alrighty. 
Now I'm just going to give it a little bammy. A little bammy. Oh, and I see some. I see one that I missed here. Okay. And then I'm going to give it a squish. Give it a squish around. Before you fill it up. Because if you don't, it's going to... Uh, overflow on you. Alright. Okay. Now I'm going to give it a spritz. And I should have gave it a spritz before I poured the resin actually, but too late now. So I'm just going to go on this end and just let it flow to the other. Okay. And there we go with that. Now we're going to come over here. We're going to get this one. That's that, baby dolls. Now, if you want to give it a little bam bam, I'm going to give mine a little bam bam. Just in case there's some bubbles trapped. Okay, good enough. All right, darlings, I'll be back when the snail is cured. And hopefully, our little crystals will be cured too. Okay, give it a spritzy. And that's that. There's something. Do y'all see that? There we go. There we go. Got it. All right, darlings. I'll be back. All right, babies. I think it's all ready. I thought I was recording. So, here is the long, the long one. I put some uh, window film on it, but my light ain't wanting to act right, so... But you can see a little coming through there. Ain't that pretty, though? I love that. So I'm going to put that over here. Now, that was this mold by Less Resin. Now, something else I noticed. It has how much resin the mold holds. Look at that. One point fluid ounce is what this one holds. I didn't even pay attention to it. Now, this one says it holds 0 0.8 fluid ounce, okay? And I think they're ready, I hope. I should have sprayed these with um, mold release. Now, my art room's cold, and it got cold last night, so it's still just a little bendy. So, I'm going to try my doggone not to mess up my um, crystals. I just hope I don't. I'm going to try to just pull out like this. Like that. Get my finger in. Try not to bend anything. Now this one in the middle is a tall crystal. So let's go on around. Try to pop some out. This little mold ain't playing. You can spray it with alcohol if you want. And it should just pop right on out. But. I just wanted to see how hard it is. To get out without spraying it. You know what I mean? Come on out of there baby. I don't want to mess you up. Oh lord. I may spray a little bit. <laughs> because I'm scared. Scared. I'm going to mess up my tall one. I don't want to pull the tip off. It's almost cured. I'm just going to spurt a little bit in there. Let it get in. Wiggle it around. And it all just pop out. Yep, there it is. <gasps> Ain't that pretty? Oh, I love that. I love it. 
That'll be pretty on top of the jury boxes, won't it? Oh, I love that. Mm-hmm. So just spray you some uh, mo release in here or use alcohol to get it out. That way you won't mess your points up. Okay? So there's that and there's that one. I love them. I love them. Okay, so I put my extra in here. Now they, and I put some of my glitter that I made up off in here. So let's just see how these came out. I like these. They're very pretty. Look at that. Now I got a glob right there. <laughs> it don't matter. Look at that, though. Looks like an ice sculpture. Look at that. Is that not pretty? That is very cute. I'm loving it. Now, this one's just going to look the same. I'm sure. It may not have the glob like that one, but let's just get this out. There we go. Cute little moles. I would like to put a hint of blue and then pour the resin in. And it would really look like ice. Look at that. I think that's the cutest stock on thing. Yeah, it does have a little glob. Pretty. Is it not pretty? Okay, let's move these. And we're going to get the star of the show. Oh, here we go. Now, these are hard. So, I bet this booger here. I'm not going to spray it with anything because I want to see how hard. Oh, it's not hard to get out. Look at that. Now, I'm just going to go with the middle. Pull the middle out. And then come up with, to the tentacles or antenna or whatever it's called. I don't want to pull hard. I'm just going to get it over this head. And then ease my tentacles out. My little tentacles. Come on out of that baby. Okay, I'm going to spray it. Because I, I do not want my tentacles to get a little alcohol in there. Get it rubbed around. And it should just pop out. Oh God, I'm scared. I'm scared. Scared I'm going to pull them off. <laughs> Shoot. Let me turn it upside down. Oh, no. I think I'm tearing it. I think I'm tearing it, guys. I think I am. Let me try to push. Yeah, I think I'm tearing it. Oh, no. Am I? Yep. It's okay. I'll glue it. I've never had any luck with anything with tentacles on it. And I think the other one coming off too. Oh! There it is. Mm -hmm. That one's coming off too. Oh well. If we ever get it out so we can see what it looks like. Just let go. Pop the tentacle out. There we go. All right, now, let's get this back. There we go. Just good as new. How about that? Now, I'm looking for if it has how much this holds, and I don't see it. But if you fill it with something, you won't need that much resin. Is that not adorable? It's just cute, ain't it? All right, now, here goes our snail. It can be a planner. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Bless his little heart. He don't have any antennas. But anyway, that glass is pretty. I think it's pretty. It worked good. And I did put some of my gold stuff in there because I wanted it to look like he was sliding on the ground. See there? It's cute. Let me find some glue and I'll be right back. All right, darlings. I got his little antennae back on. Oh, 
and I made him some little eyes, and I outlined his mouth. Is that not cute? Now then, I'm going to take this. This is a Deco Color um, marker. It's an oil-based, opaque, metallic paint marker. Now, I'm not going to do the whole shell. I'm just going to go in the middle and outline that. Okay? That's what I'm going to do with that. Let me get my little pan to go in here. This is probably going to be a long video. That's all right, ain't it? I'm just going to go right in the middle. And just give him a little color on his shell. Because I don't want to cover the whole shell up. Because it will cover up my glass. You see. If you get out of line, just take a little alcohol and wipe it off. If you don't catch it before it dries. If it dries, you just take alcohol and wipe it. Okay. Now, give this a little definition. And then that's it. That's it, babies. How about that? See? Makes it stand out. I think he's adorable. I think he's adorable. Y'all let me know what you think. Everything I use will be in the description. Um, thank you, Les Resin, for my blessings. I do appreciate it so much. Hope y'all can see him. I'm hoping the light. Oh, how cute is he? I think he's so precious. Let's see. I'm thinking about putting my little paintbrushes in there. Look at that. Little paint brushes, or you can put little your little gems in there. Look at that. I want that in something, don't I? You can make it a flower pot. I think it'd be cute as a little flower pot. I think it's adorable. But anyway, darlings, thank y'all so much for watching. And um, I appreciate it. And I love y'all. And let's do this blessing board and a prayer card. And then... That will be that. And um, I'm not sure if I'm going to have the members only live tonight. If I do, it will. I'll post it to my community tab. Um, but I'm not sure because I'm trying to get. I'm going to put him a little gold on his eyes. See, I can't leave nothing alone. Um, I'm trying to get. My art room where I had all this stuff cleaned up. Oh, yeah, I like that better. Cleaned up and um, I, my bed put back in there because that was a bedroom. I'm still going to have a table in there just in case it gets too cold out here. I got an electric heater, but see, I'm running off of a um, power cord. And uh, that's it. That is. That's better. That's so cute. I love it. So, you know, I can't leave a heater running all night like I can in the house. Because I'm not out here to watch it. But anyway. All right. Blessing board for October is Miss Sharon Lewis. Continue prayers for Mr. Jean, my oldest daughter, April. Uh, Miss Patricia Davis's son, Miss Brenda Levi, Miss Allison and her dad, Miss Gillian's niece, and Miss Jacqueline Gill. Let's get a prayer card, babies. Thank y'all so much for your prayers, darlings. I know they appreciate everyone. I know they do. Okay, let's get a prayer card. And see what the message is. For today, I can't even hold them. My hands are cool. It's kind of chilly outside. <laughs> okay, let's just get this one off the top and get my eyes on. Here we go. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and myrrh. He set my feet on a rock. And gave me a firm place to stand. Amen. Psalm chapter 40 verse 2. Amen. Ain't that the truth? 
Mm, 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 mm. Thank you, Jesus, for your message. Thank you. All right, my sweet angels. I love y'all to pieces. And remember, check the community tab under my page. and Because some get a notification and some don't. So, I'm not sure about the live yet. Not really sure. But I did get Miss Margaret and Miss Deidre's. Not Miss Margaret. It wasn't Miss Margaret, was it? Miss Deidre and... There's one more. Their address, so I'm going to be sending their blessing box. All right. All right, babies. Y'all have a blessed day, and I'm finna get to work, honey buns, and try to get done. It's uh, 1245, so hopefully I'll have the live. I won't be wore out, and I'll have it. But anyway, make sure you keep your eyes on the community tab, okay? And I love y'all, darling. I appreciate you so much. Peace, love, prayers, and happiness, darlings. Bye.